quick about how to import your data set into Max QDA. Real, real simple. First thing you do is go up to the top banner and click import. You can see there are a bunch of options here. We're going to focus on importing an Excel spreadsheet. So just go ahead, double click that, find your spreadsheet that you want to import, double click on that, and this will pop up. This first pop-up box that you get just talks about your variables. So you want to run through here really quick, make sure your variables are looking okay. I always make sure that anything that is clicked in the code section here is something that I really want to be coded. So when you think about coding, you kind of think about qualitative data. Um, I don't necessarily want reason for hospitalization coded. So I'm gonna uncheck that, but I do want it to stay a variable within my data set. Um, everything else in, is not clicked as code except for our qualitative um, variable here. And I want to keep that as a code, but I'm also going to check it as a variable. So go ahead and click OK after that. The next thing that pops up here is another screen that talks about um, your data set. You look a little bit more specifically at the variables that you're going to import. What I like about this screen is it gives you like one last opportunity just to make sure everything looks okay and especially to maybe get rid of a few variables in here that are just extra that you're not going to do anything with so maybe don't even bother importing them. We'll just choose for example um, admission ICU. I don't really care for this specific study what ICU these patients were admitted to. So I just unclick that and it will not be imported into Max QDA. Everything else looks great. So go ahead and just click import. Takes just a couple seconds. Everything pops up. One more screen will pop up here. This is just a summary of um, the data and the variables that were imported into Max QDA. Just go ahead and hit close on that. And then what you'll see over here are all of the documents, which really are your study participants. Each individual study participant is considered a document in Max QDA um, and their corresponding study ID number. And when we double click on them, uh, you can see here that the qualitative data that got fed over is there. When you look at, through a few of these that have the zero next to them, there was no qualitative data associated with that participant. So for this specific study being our mixed method study, um, I don't necessarily want that data. So I'm just going to go through here and clean this up. So any participant that I see that has a zero next to them, I'm just going to go, go ahead and clean that, clean that up. So then when we go to code our qualitative data, um, this part is already done and everybody that we go through will have qualitative data for us to work with. So um, that is as simple as that. So that is how you import your data set into MaxQDA.